uh, welcome guys in our youtube studio so here we are going to show you how can you create a new data set uh, inside or data schema you can say inside bigquery so i have a project here so you can do the things in a way for example we are going to create a new project here okay and this is the name of our project so i'm going to call it learning uh 2024 okay this is the name of my uh new project inside gcp infra okay now it is going to create uh, this project for me in gcp gcp infra okay and i'm going to select this project from there as well okay now here you can see we have created this project okay now i want to create a new schema so uh so here i have already choose bigquery section that's why it is coming here so all the component as these are the main append products uh, services you can see inside the <coughs> gcp so here i am going to choose a uh, bigquery okay now i have to create a data set in this uh, project so i am going to create a data set so that is uh, raw data or you can say demo raw this is the name of our data set so there are multiple options like regions uh, only letters and numbers and numbers or underscores so it is not allowed to use me like this demo row or we can do like this okay so location type so you can choose any region uh, here all the region they have the data okay so you can choose any uh, uh, region but uh, in demo i am going to choose multi regions okay and uh, after that uh, what i am going to do uh, in multi regions i am going to choose us multi region in united state okay and there is another option like enable table expiration yep you can uh, add it if you want to uh, set any alarm to or any schedule of days for example if you want to if you want to say that every table in the data set can expire in 90 days okay so in this demo i have set 90 days and there are some advanced options like encryption so google manage encryption key or customer manage encryption encryption key so i am going to uh, use google many encryption key and case insensitive enable case insensitive table names okay so if you are going to choose it so if you are going to write down your table now table name in upper case or lower cases it is going to be treated as a insensitive if you are going to una enable this option then you are able to read your table uh, in any case it may be in a camel case or uh, it may be in a uh, lower case or any other cases and default default collation enable default collation so i am not going to choose this okay and just going to create my data set and time travel window enable physical storage building model so i'm not going to use it so in this demo and one more thing give me a minute okay so i am going to create this data set okay now here if you are going to click on this you can see all the configuration or data set info like 
that is data set id this is the actual path of this data set and this is the case uh, that default expiry table expansion in 90 days that means if you are going to create any table inside this schema it is going to be delete within 90 days okay now so here i am going to upload some data from the uh, csv file okay so you can right click on this or uh, click on this and create table so here you can see create table source table that is empty table okay and upload so actually i am going to upload going to choose upload and then browse the file so here in downloads i have some archive in archive i have that is comma separated file super store okay and then i am going yep then i am going to name of this table that is i am using camel case so super store sales and okay this is the name of my table okay or you can do like this sales or super stores okay and the table type that is a native table okay and there is only one section that is auto detect so that means it is going to be detect the schema based on the available columns and rows basically it will work it is going to be read uh, 500 columns uh, rows from the beginning and on the basis of these uh, data they are going to generate some schema and their uh, data type as well so uh, parsing and cluster setting if you want to apply any parsing you can do that so we can do it later in the other video uh, write empty write if empty number of errors allowed so in this case I'm going to set 100 errors unknown value okay and fill delimited is comma or quoted character double quotes header row to skip zero and uh, quoted new line okay and then check so enable default collision so apart from this these are not the necessary part but it is the necessary part if you are going to upload any uh, data manual manually from csv or from json to the BigQuery table or you can use the existing table uh, here you can see uh, there are many other features like uh, append to table if table is exist overwrite table that means if there are there is any data in your table it is going to be overwrite it and click on create button so let's see So it is saying job is created and go to the table. Okay, now you can click from there and you can you can go there as well. Okay. So here uh, you can see this is the schema. A schema of the table. You can uh, based on the available data. It is going to be read all the data and uh, defining the data type okay so it is you can see and if you want to see the data you can go to the preview yeah in the preview you can see all the data which was 
अवेलेबल इन योर सी एस वी फाइल सो हेयर एंड इट इज इट इज गोइंग टू शो यू फर्स्ट फिफ्टी रिकॉर्ड्स पर पेज सो यू कैन सेट एट टू मैक्स टू मैक्स टू हंड्रेड रिकॉर्ड पर पेज सो दिस सिंगल विंडो नोन एज ए पेज सो इन दिस रिजल्ट सेट दे आर गोइंग टू शो टू हंड्रेड रिकॉर्ड्स सो यू कैन सी इट इज वेरी इजी टू क्रिएट ए डेटा सेट और क्रिएट ए प्रोजेक्ट इन जिस पी इंफ्रा एंड क्रिएट अ डेटा सेट और यू कैन सेट डेटा स्कीम एंड देन यू कैन अपलोड सम डेटा इन टू दिस टेबल एज वेल ओके सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एस प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट uh if you have any question then we are here to help you thank you for watching us